Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to use the daily.co video chat feature within the Adalo builder so that you can have this video chat feature on your application. So this is the component that we're going to be using. To start, you're going to want to go to the sign up page and you're going to want to create an account. We already have an account. The client themselves were responsible for creating their account and sending me the credentials so that I can log in. And then basically what you're going to do is come to developers and grab your API key. Then you're going to go to API docs and this is where you're going to grab a bunch of the information that you need for your component. So now that you've done the first step, which is create an account, log in, grab your API key, we're going to come into this app here. So I've done it once already, but now I'm transferring the application over to my client's account on Adalo. And because of the way Adalo works, they say that custom actions cannot be copied over. So I now have to redo it, but no worries there. It's a great opportunity for me to create this video. So anyways, let's first talk about the flow of how this all works. So someone is going to come to a page and it's obviously going to have another user's information. So the most basic components are going to be name, and email yeah those two are the the most important things that you're going to need so then they're going to click on this book a call button it's going to bring them into this screen right here so you'll see here that we have conversation title conversation description and the date this is mostly from the plugin itself so when you go to the marketplace and you download the daily.co plugin, you can clone this into your app. And the magic that happens is going to be this button here. Again, you're going to post your API key here. So I'm actually going to copy and paste that information into this, in this right here. The book of call, it's going to come to create a room. Okay, API key is here. And then you're going to go into this and you're going to set it to private because you want only the person that have been booked for this call to be able to come into the video chat. So you don't want to have it be public, but if you do want it to be a public event of some sort, this is where you would make it public. For time when the room will be available, you're just gonna bring in the magic text, which is going to be called date and time. By the way, this creates a call that feeds into a database here, right? And the database has calls inside and has all of these um, elements. We have title, description, URL, users, date and time, attendees, room name, emails, and meeting token. Now meeting token is really important and we'll talk about in that in just a second. So you're going to come in here and you're going to click on this and then when you're ready, you're going to come into this section right here. I would keep all of these if you don't want a certain function, take it out. Then you're going to come into this area here and you're going to create that call. So then you're going to input that information here. So title input is going to be this guy. Description is going to be this guy right here. And then the room URL is going to be basically the URL that is made when the call is booked. And then you're going to, well, this one is just current user or the user, current user profiles. Here we just call it advisor. Here we have the date and time, so you're going to click on that. Then you're going to bring in the attendees' names. This is important. This is how the plugin will create a token. Then you're going to write your room name here, and you're going to leave your emails here. This is how people will be able to get into the meeting. So you're going to click done for this. Then you're going to do this. Now this is the hardest part. So to create a custom action, you're going to go to add another action. I'll show you here. So you're gonna come down here, you're gonna go add another action. You're going to do custom action, new custom action. Then you're going to, I'm gonna come in here and just grab this. You're gonna call it create meeting token. So I'm gonna just copy this over, paste it here. Then I'm gonna say it's type create. So I'm gonna do type create and next. Then I'm going to go to the next section and this is the API base URL that you want to bring in. So this you can grab from the doc here and you're going to say this is a post method. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna click on post. Then you're going to go into your header. This is where you'll type in authorization 
spare. This is where I always get a hiccup, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. The builder here is super finicky, so authorization, no space here. Then you're going to type in bearer, and you're going to paste. Oops, you're going to paste your API key here. Um, however, you're going to do it in a way where it's like you copy your API key. You don't do a space yet. So it's going to look like this. Then you're going to put a space and it's going to bring it to the next line. Done. Now you're going to figure out how to... Okay, so before you even have this information, what you're going to do is we like to input together... This is whatever you want it to be, but I just use username and room name. You're going to add inputs here and you're going to call it text and you're going to call it room name and see how it says text, room name, room name. So you're going to copy that over. You're just going to do whatever you need. Then you're going to come here and you're going to say username, username. It's also going to be a text input. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so username, username, and then done. So then in here, you're going to put in your magic text and copy room name. And you can do this here, username. Now, if you do all of this correctly, you should be able to test this properly, but I do want to take some time, mainly for myself, because if no one watches this video, at least I'll have this video to refer to down the road. Properties are basically, this is what's going to create the meeting token. So room name is obviously going to be the room name that you've created. Is owner makes that person the admin so that so everyone can go into the room without having to wait for someone to let them in. The username pulls the users and creates and puts them into that meeting token. Start video off is just like, an, it's very obvious, it just makes sure that their video is off when they go in. And then start audio off also turns off their audio when they first come into the room, which I think makes sense, so I left that on default. Enable recording UI. This is completely optional. I just have it here because in case users want to record their meeting, they can do that. So it's set to true right now. And then enable recording is going to be in cloud and then this is important eject after elapsed this is when after a certain time we can kick someone out because we don't want them to go over the time limit and just so that you know this is based on seconds so it's like whatever minutes times 60. okay that's how this is going to work so if you did this right if you run the test request it should come back correctly meaning that it has created the correct meeting token with your magic text so now you're going to click on save custom action so now it's saved and here for your username you're going to pull in so i'm going to go back i'm just going to exit out because i didn't do any updates here but for here you're going to write in the name so you're going to click on create room button is going to create a name so that's the one that you're going to pull in and do that so components room name then you're going to do room name so it's going to be logged in user username they're the people that booked the call so you're going to do that so do that oh sorry this is backwards because i did it backwards so you're going to do the corresponding username is going to be logged in users username room name will be the new component nope create room name there you go okay so now you have done the first part now you have to do the second part. So then everything else is set up and I'll walk you through the actions really quickly. This, so first thing is it creates a call for us. So we just, we went over that. Then this one updates the call with a second user. Now this is where we need to update the meeting token. So you're gonna come in here and you're going to grab the new calls meeting token. meeting token token okay that's not right oops so then this needs to happen before this action or else you're not going to grab the input and then simply click on this so this is the custom action you created you're going to add token and click on done and then you're going to be able to use this so the last step is for this to link the user to the next screen which is this screen right here now this screen is going to have all the calls that are booked and it'll show up for both users. So the user that is on the receiving end and also the person that booked the call. We're not going to go into how to do that on this video because that's going to make it really long. It's already 
10 to 12 minutes long, so I want to be mindful. But basically, someone will come in here when it's time to have a call. Click on the call, click on this icon, come into this waiting room, join call, and be able to join the call here. And then this is just going to say current call meeting token, and that is going to be what lets that user in. So we're going to try it out to make sure that we did it correctly. Okay, so this is the entire flow. I'm going to book a call with this person and this will be blocked out because I don't want to give away information, but user information, user name will both show up. I'll type in the name and I'll pick the date. So it'll be today is 1010. So that time is correct then it will take me to the next screen which is this one right here and then I should be able to click on this to go in and join a call and then it says are you ready to join so you're going to say yes and there you have it I just have my video turned off because I don't want to show my face in this video but that's how you do that and then everyone will be able to come on to this screen when they're ready to have a discussion and basically because we're on mobile the windows will be stacked but you can you're free to pick I think it's a wonderful plugin actually to use for the build okay thank you for walking through with me on this and I will catch you in the next one bye